Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these infinity edge water landscapes and reflections using some simple tricks in the effects panel. So let's just start off with our original clip. This is going to work really cool with landscapes or skylines, um, even if it's a city or not. Something where you can see the horizon and there's kind of like a, a enough clear blue sky. And it works particularly, it's a cool trick to do with water to create these kind of infinity edge oceans and, and landscapes. So in the effects panel, I'm going to look for the mirror effect. This is in the video effects distort folder. This effect is actually very simple and this is basically all you need is this mirror effect. And all you have to do is adjust the reflection center and reflection angle. So right now it's at zero degrees. So if I adjust the reflection center, I can pull it in just to create like your classic uh, symmetrical mirror fold. But if I change the reflection angle to something more that folds the landscape in half, since we do have this clear horizon line and this uh, clear blue sky, we get more of a realistic folding of the landscape. So 45 degrees should be a perfect angle if your shot was filmed perfectly straight and aligned. And you can simply move the reflection center, the X position over enough to the point where the edge fills. One quick tip is if you highlight the mirror effect and just grab your selection tool, you can actually see that reflection center and you can move it. You can drag it like this by hand. And you could just leave it like this, just like create a infinity drop off landscape. But the cool thing with the mirror effect is you can even stack it as well. So I can create another mirror effect and set this one at a different angle. Like let's say 135. You might see it folds the image in half the other way, but you're just going to want to once again move that reflection angle all the way over and you can fold the image in many different ways so let me create almost like a ladder effect we'll do right here at 225 and it now we have this effect where it kind of goes down and then right and then down again almost like a waterfall now if your image was not filmed perfectly straight, that's when you can play around with like maybe 46 or go up or down one degree if you if you want to see what that looks like or just if you want to see what it looks like in general. But I found that this seems to look the, the most cool with perfectly right angles. Another example clip I have here is another water landscape. And another idea you can do instead of just the infinity edge is more like a parallax, like a flipping the skyline on itself so let's just change this to let's do negative 90 degrees um, 90 degrees would be cool it's almost like a, a water reflection but if I do negative 90 that f sandwiches the image on top of itself and since we have this clear blue sky basically this image is even a little cloudy it would, it would work even better with a clear blue sky we can basically fold this landscape on top of itself and now we feel like we're flying through this cool different sea world almost if you want to add a little bit of variation to this so it's not so obviously just a mirror you can rotate the image a little so i can rotate it and then just scale up a little bit to fill in those edges and now this looks a little bit more like we're flying through this realistic double mirror universe just with that little rotation and scale trick, maybe even the position. And you can even slightly animate this. Like if I animate the X position to slightly pan from left to right, just giving a little bit of more illusion of motion going on. Or you can do little things like uh, fold the image together multiple times. And again, remember if you do need to scale up a little bit to fix any edge crops, you can do that. Now we've created this like cube water island thing and as a last kind of advanced resort or tip if you don't like that it looks so symmetrical so obviously symmetrical you can try to use the flip horizontal feature so if i add a horizontal flip in the transform menu what you want to do is turn the visibility of this effect off for a second so just hit that fx badge just so we can see what we're working on then you want to grab your pen tool mask and simply create a mask where your mirror line is so i'm going to create that mask where my mirror line is 
This will make the horizontal flip only show up on that mirror section. And then I'm also going to add a, a good amount of feathering just so we really blend that in. You can play around with the mask expansion if you missed the line a little bit. But what we've done by doing this flip horizontal is just kind of added another flip. Like instead of just flipping it over like a like a symmetrical like ink blot fold, we've more so kind of twisted the two pieces together like a cookie, if that makes any sense. And remember, you can adjust the position of the entire clip now because especially if you rotated it, things could slightly change or you can even add panning. But those are some quick tools and tricks to create this infinity edge and kind of mirror world effect with some very simple effects. This just is very important, the original clip that you choose to start working with. So if you enjoyed this video, you can check out hundreds of more in the playlist on my channel. My name is Justin Odisho. You can subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.